he's just sitting on the couch and I can see the back of his head just hanging and he's shaking his head. So I walk over to him and he's just saying, it's over, it's over, it's, it's all over. And I sat down next to him, I said, what are you talking about, what's going on? And there's this piece of paper on the table in front of us. And I noticed that it says search warrant on the top of it. And then I just remember seeing the words sexual assault and the word student. That was a scene from the summer Hulu hit docuseries, Portrayal, the Perfect Husband. The three-part series tells the story of TV producer Jennifer Faison and her seemingly idyllic marriage to her well-respected and teacher of the year, twice he got it, Spencer Heron. But after he's charged with sexually assaulting one of his high school students, Jennifer starts looking for answers and discovers her husband is not, as you saw there, what he seems. Jennifer is now using her story to help others, and she's with us now. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. Um, Jennifer, you're, you're in TV. Why do you think this resonates so much with people? I think, similar to Risa, when we put our stories out there, we were completely honest and open about everything that was happening. When you go through something like this and experience that betrayal trauma from somebody that you love, there's no roadmap mm. out there on how to get through it. And I think by being honest and open and vulnerable and sharing that story, there were people who recognized certain things maybe in their own relationships and, and, it, and they got some clarity from it. You were college sweethearts with your ex-husband. Mm -hmm. This wasn't someone that you met and then married after a whirlwind romance. I think that's always the challenge to reconcile in anyone, this Jekyll Hyde, I guess it's called, mm -hmm. person. Sure. In your home, in your bed. That's terrifying. Yes. You know, the person to me that he was, was a loving husband, a wonderful person. And so I think one of the reasons I took this journey in finding out everything that I could about him is because I didn't know this person. I don't know if I would want to know. I mean, I'm saying, well, after he was, because he was convicted mm -hmm. of the crime of sexually assaulting the 16-year-old student, he served time. He was released in 2022. And in the Hulu series, you allege that he had many other affairs. And I guess what I'm saying by, I don't know if I'd want to know, I don't know if I would have wanted to know more. Well, I kind of came about it accidentally. Yeah. I, I got into his Facebook account to close it down and just, you know, trying to get through our finances. I had to get into his email. Yeah. And that's when I discovered the other women that he had been having affairs with. But I know that you also have heard from people who've been inspired by you, yeah. right? And there was one woman who wrote to you and said, really, you saved her life. I think we have a copy of what she wrote you. She said, when you had the betrayal trauma specialist on about your podcast, um, she talked about going through the same thing. And she said she asked for a divorce on her 20th anniversary. And she said that your podcast saved her because of what you were revealing. Mm -hmm. How does that feel to have Put yourself out there like that, and then people say you saved their life. You know, I, I am very humble about it, and I think sometimes I make myself small about it because it's hard to accept that I could have really had an impact on somebody. Mm. When we share our experiences, I think that's how we learn and grow and we don't feel so alone and we can help others. I know that the woman who wrote you after the podcast was not the only person uh, several have reached out, including one who wanted to send this message. Let's play it. Hey, Jennifer, it's Heather. I just wanted to say thank you. Thank you for being so brave and so vulnerable and sharing your story. Um, you've touched so many people, and I'm just so grateful to be one of them. Your story changed my life forever. It really just gave me the courage to get out of a really difficult relationship that I was in. Um, it brought clarity and understanding to the confusion I lived in for so long. And I was finally able to see that I'm not crazy and I could trust myself to take the steps that I needed to take to get out. Um, you really are a voice 
for those that don't have a voice yet. And I'm just so, so proud of you. I love you. I love you, Tamron. Thank you guys so, so much. Bye. <laughs> so it's something that she said, that's something that Risa said. You, you, you don't want to feel crazy. You're like, I am seeing these signs and listen to these signs. And that's why you shared your story. Your podcast continues. Um, season three of your podcast. Yes. And then we can exclusively announce that season two of the docu-series Betrayal is in the works right now. Mm -hmm. And it's based on your podcast. It's going to reveal another shocking story. The, sho the story for the next season involves a Utah mom, Ashley Litton, and her discovery that her husband was harboring a horrifying secret. Well, I would say congratulations on the series, but given the context of it, I say bravo on you sharing your story you. and that of other people.